Good afternoon, Jets Nation. Welcome to the Jew Jet Show. And the 11th day of training camp has concluded. Here are the top takeaways from today. So let's first off talk about some of our injured players. The New York Jets hope that Elijah Bear Tucker is going to be back by the week we play Green Bay. You know, we're traveling to Green Bay to have some joint practices with them. And then on August 21st, I believe, we play a preseason game against them. Well, that in that week, the New York Jets expect Elijah Bear Tucker to be back on the field practicing. He has missed the last couple practices with a pec injury. And Quinn Williams, who's been out pretty much the entire training camp with a broken foot, is going to be doing a mock practice on Friday, and the Jets hope he's going to be back by the Green Bay week. Now let's talk about today's practice. Nothing happened much. Like, nothing at all happened. I mean, I was afraid I was only going to have to talk about Zach Wilson. I always talk about his performance in my training camp takeaway videos, but luckily Carl Lawson was just amazing. We'll talk about him later. But first off, let's talk about Zach Wilson. So he was all right today, which is not a bad thing. If a rookie quarterback has an all right practice on August 9th, we should not panic and call them a bust. I mean, Trevor Lawrence threw three picks today in the Jaguars practice. So everyone just calm your beans. Zach Wilson had an all right practice. That, you know, that should not be a reason to panic. And I mean, he wasn't completely horrible today. He threw two touchdowns to Corey Davis. So that is a very good thing. And now let's talk about Carl Lawson. I mean, he was just absolutely incredible today. He had his usual three sacks. And the best part was he's going up against Makai Becton. I mean, that should not be a reason to concern against Becton because Lawson's just amazing. I mean, he can pretty much get past anybody. And I mean, Becton is not having a bad camp just because he can't block Lawson. I mean, literally no one can get past Becton. Lawson's just the only person. And if Lawson can get through Becton, he can get through anybody. So Carl Lawson was just once again dominating in today's practice. Now Jets cornerback Blessing on Lawson said in his post-practice press conference that he is going to be one of the top cornerbacks in the NFL by the end of the season. Now this is a pretty bold take from the third year cornerback. I mean, Lawson has been having a pretty good training camp. I mean, has got beat a couple times by Corey Davis, Elijah Moore, but overall has been having a solid camp. Now, this cornerback, the, you know, this new defense scheme the Jets are running is very cornerback friendly. A lot of cornerbacks have success in this new scheme. Which is why, blessing on Austin, who's shown in his two years with the New York Jets that he has a ton of potential, I think is just going to thrive in the system. I mean, in his two years with the New York Jets, he's shown a lot of potential but has never had a good enough coach to turn that potential into a reality. And Robert Sala pretty much specializes in it. So I definitely think Blessing on Austin is going to be a top 20, maybe even top 15 corner by the end of the season, and definitely the best cornerback on the New York Jets. Now the New York Jets released their first unofficial depth chart today. Note this is unofficial. This is not what the depth chart is going to look like by week one. This is just what it would look like if the New York Jets played a regular season game today. So Zach Wilson is our starting quarterback. Tevin Coleman is our starting running back. Corey Davis and Keelan Cole are two outside receivers, while Jamison Crowder is our starting slot guy. Becton is in at left tackle. Vera Tucker's in at left guard. Connor McGovern's our starting center. Van Roden's our starting right guard. And George Fant and Morgan Moses are both our starting right tackles. Now, you can't play two right tackles in at once. The New York Jets are still, you know, undecided on who's going to be starting up the position because Fant and Moses are both competing for that starting job. And Chris Herndon is our starting tight end. Now let's take a quick note on some of our backups. So Denzel Mims is still working with the second team. He is our backup receiver. He's the backup to Corey Davis. Obviously, the expectation was he was going to be starting alongside Davis this season, but now he's going to be starting behind him. Now this is not a good sign for Denzel Mims because he was our second round pick last season. We'd have, we would have expected him to take that second leap and be a starter this year. But I don't think he's going to be traded or released, you know, this year. I just don't buy into those rumors because he does have a lot of potential. And towards the end of the season, he might be working with the first team. Now, LaMichael Piran is also our backup running back, which is very surprising because this offseason, a lot of people were saying he's going to be cut. He does not fit into the system. Apparently, he's adapted really well, too, because he is our backup running back, starting over guys like Ty Johnson and Michael Carter. Now, you know, take Michael Carter working with the fourth team. Well, he's not working with the fourth team, but being with the fourth team on the depth chart with a little grain of salt because he is a rookie. I mean, Elijah Moore is... A backup receiver and we good well know that he is working with the ones primarily in training camp 
So by the time the official depth chart rolls around, expect our rookies to be starters or, you know, second team guys. Now let's talk about the defense. So the New York Jets are running a 4-3 defense this year. That is four defensive linemen and three linebackers. So Carl Lawson and John Frank Lamars are starting edge guys, and Sheldon Rankins and Fuller on are two starting interior defensive linemen. Now Quentin Williams is not starting because he is on the pup list, but once he gets activated off of it, expect him to take the place of Sheldon Rankins. CJ Mosley, Gerard Rod Davis and Hasma Nazardine are starting linebackers. Bless me when Austin and Bryce Hall are starting corners. With Javelin Gildry and Anthony Nickel. And Marcus Mayne and Marcus Joyner are our two starting safeties. Now let's talk about the special team. So Chris Nagger, my second favorite player, is our starting kicker. Brady Manners is our starting punter. And the guy who's going to be holding the extra points. Braxton Bears is our kick punt returner. And Corey Ballantyne is our kick returner. And the GOAT, Thomas Hennessy, is our long snapper. Now let's get into today's quick hit. So the New York Jets place Alex Lewis on the exempt slash left squad list. This list basically means that he is on the New York Jets but not on the 90-man roster. We also removed offensive lineman George Fant from the COVID list. We also signed linebacker Edmund Robinson and Wade wide receiver Matt Cole, who was recently picked up by the New York Giants. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. If you ended up enjoying, let me know by hitting the subscribe and like button. Check me out on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, at Jude underscore Jets, for more content. Comment down below what you thought of today's video. And if for some reason the comments are turned off, just hit me up on any of my social medias. And I'm your host, Jude, signing off for now. See you later.